This is going to be another how to install Inkscape Inkstitch video. This time in Windows 11. I have Windows 11 running here. I have previously downloaded Inkscape and Inkstitch separately. And I will go ahead and start off by installing Inkscape. So now that it's installed, I'm going to uncheck Run Inkscape. Don't want it to run yet. Hit Finish. I'm going to right click and copy Ink Stitch Zip. Going to minimize that. Now I'm going to start Inkscape. Save, hit thanks, time to draw, new document. So now that we're in here, I'm going to go straight into edit, preferences. Go all the way down to system. Right here's the user folders, user extensions. I'm going to click open. It's going to open up the file browser. It is empty. I'm going to right click and paste so the zip file is pasted that doesn't do us any good at all i'm going to right click on the zip file going to extract all and i want that to go straight into inkscape extensions not any further so i'm going to clear out anything beyond extensions i still want that slash on there just like that so it's in the extensions folder and whatever extracts, extracts straight to there. Show extracted files when complete, doesn't matter. It's up to you. I'm gonna hit extract. Awesome. This is what you want to see. Under Inkscape extensions, you want to see all of these files. Now, the ink stitch zip file that I initially brought in here, we can remove it. I'm going to go ahead to uh, trash, delete. So that zip file is now gone. Don't have to delete it, but it doesn't need to be in there. So close that out, close that out, close that out. Restart Inkscape. We should have ink stitch. New document. Extensions, ink stitch. Everything's here. Beautiful, beautiful, just like we want it to be. I'm going to show you real quick an alternative to the way that I did that. Right here in downloads, you can just right click, extract all, and it will put it into its own whatever it thinks folder you can extract it there you don't have to change anything okay so once that got it done extracting right here's your right here's your extracted file um, folder so you can just, from downloads, go into your extracted folder that you just extracted. Now it, now that you're here, hit Control A. We'll select all, just like we do in Inkscape. And then Control C, we'll copy. Once you've done that, then you can go into Inkscape, Preferences, Settings, uh, System, user extensions, click that open button, and then you can control V or you can right click and paste right here. Right, you don't already have it here like I do now, but that's just another way to do it. Just paste all those files in right here, restart Inkscape, and you should be good to go. 
Just a really quick note before closing this out. There is no longer uh, install add-ons. Install add-ons went away with the release of Ink Inkstitch 2.0. It is now thread color management. Install thread color palettes for Inkscape. There is no install add-ons. Go Inkstitch, thread color management, install thread color palettes for Inkscape. I'll show you real quick before I do that. If I click this palette selector, this right here is, my, is all I have in my list. That's it. That is all I have. So as soon as I click install uh, thread color palettes for Inkscape, Outstanding has now been done. Let's restart Inkscape and see what we have. If I go Ink State, Ink Extensions, Ink Stitch. Actually, I don't need to do that. I just need to click right here. Now you see. Oh my goodness, there's a big list. There's a huge list of ink stitch color palettes now. And these are all specific to thread brands. When we first, me and my wife first started, I would set this on Brother. Uh, brother Embroidery. And that's all it would give me. Why, in all my, almost all my videos, this is all you see for my red palette color choice that's the brother embroidery she's using uh something else now will i know it when i see it or will i have to ask her yep i don't see it i don't uh madeira might be madeira Holy. No, it's not Madeira. Anyway, I don't remember. So, yeah. That's that. No more install add-ons. It's now color palette. But, because we're on Windows, we're not done. Because we have to whitelist ink stitch. So that Windows doesn't think it's something it's not. I'm going to click the Windows button. Uh, I'm going to type in something along the lines of virus. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Virus and threat protection. Virus and threat protection. I'm looking for a four leaf clover. No. Okay, we're looking for, I'm going to go home. I don't remember exactly where I need to be for this. I think it's here. Virus, virus and protection settings, manage settings. I believe that's it. Yep. Scroll all the way down to exclusions, add, remove exclusions. Hit yes. Add an exclusion. And it's going to ask you, do you want to add a file folder, file type, or process? Add an exclusion and we're going to type process. Hit add. You may have to go and dig in a little bit deeper and do a few more exclusions, but that should work. It has worked so far on what I've needed it to do in the three times that I've ran a Windows system to do Ink Stitch. But that is installing Ink Stitch, Inkscape, and Ink Stitch in Windows 11. Thanks for watching.